Ever wondered how many minutes a kid spends waiting for rides each week? More than 600 minutes for many families. That's a lot of sitting around. So here's a question. What if a tiny self-driving EV could handle some of those trips all on its own? Meet Toyota's Mobi, a new kid-focused autonomous pod built to make short, safe, and independent travel possible for young riders. Mobi's outside design stands out with its round, bubble-shaped body that looks friendly and keeps kids safe by avoiding sharp corners. The bright color options, like lime green with black or blue-purple with orange, make the pod easy to spot and fun for young riders. Its front has playful LED eyes that blink and change expression, giving the pod a warm, character-like feel. Two antenna-shaped sensor ears on top help detect movement, obstacles, and traffic. Instead of a regular door, the pod uses a gullwing-style canopy that lifts upward, creating a wide and simple entry for children. Which design detail of Moby do you think kids will notice first? The LED eyes, the colors, or the bubble shape? The inside of Moby focuses on comfort and emotional safety with a soft, fuzzy seat made for solo rides that help kids feel independent. The material feels like a plush bean bag, making the space warm and relaxing for young riders. Even though the pod looks small from the outside, the interior feels roomy and open. Moby fits children up to 130 centimeters tall, and safety restraints keep them secure once seated. Then the canopy closes smoothly, creating a protected and quiet space. Would a child in your family enjoy this cozy bubble-like seat, or prefer riding with an adult? Moby runs entirely on autonomous driving technology, not on child-operated controls. There are no steering wheels, pedals, or buttons inside. A network of sensors, cameras, and artificial intelligence guides the pod in real time, managing speed, direction, braking, and navigation. The system watches the surroundings every second to keep the ride safe. Do you think kids feel safer with no controls inside, or would they prefer something to interact with? These sensors observe the environment from all angles, noticing cars, pedestrians, bikes, road markings, traffic signs, and sudden obstacles. This constant awareness helps the pod react instantly whenever the environment changes, and it stays still if the road isn't safe. The goal is simple. Give children safe, independent mobility without the stress of controlling anything. Which part of this technology impresses you more? The 360-degree sensing or the instant reaction to danger? One of the most charming things inside Moby is the UX Friend, a smart AI buddy designed to keep young riders comfortable and confident. This assistant speaks in simple language, explains what the pod is doing, answers easy questions, and gives calm guidance. It helps children feel included instead of just sitting quietly. If your child had an AI buddy during a ride, what would they ask at first? The UX friend keeps the ride warm rather than lonely, helping kids feel calm, understood, and entertained. The interaction stays gentle and not overwhelming. Even though Moby drives itself, young riders can talk to the AI, interact with the system, and feel connected to the journey. Do you think an AI friend makes the ride more fun or more reassuring for kids? Moby exists because Toyota believes children also deserve freedom of mobility, not just adults. While grown-ups can travel by car, bus, or train anytime, kids often depend completely on adults for even the shortest trips, which can limit independence and learning. Through its Mobility for All project, Toyota wants to include younger riders in the future of transportation by creating a safe space where kids have their own trusty sidekick. This idea fits well with the way families live today, where schedules are busy, communities are spread out, and children need safe ways to move around without waiting for adults every time. Because Moby is meant for children, safety sits at the center of every design choice, starting with its bubble-shaped body that avoids sharp edges and protects the rider from all sides. The pod relies on constant monitoring from advanced sensors and real-time scanning to check what's happening outside, while predictive technology helps it choose the safest possible action. The cabin seals once the child is inside, 
creating a secure environment supported by smooth and controlled movements that reduce sudden jolts. Even with all these features, Toyota still treats Mobi as a concept vehicle, and real-world testing with children has not begun. Families and experts need to understand how it behaves in everyday situations, so careful steps are necessary before this kind of mobility becomes normal. Right now, Mobi exists as a functional prototype displayed at the 2025 Japan Mobility Show. Visitors were able to view the pod, explore its design, and watch demonstrations, but it is not yet for sale, nor is it ready to travel on public streets. Toyota is collecting feedback from families, engineers, child development specialists, and mobility planners to understand how people respond to the idea. The concept sits between a futuristic vision and practical need, showing what might become common in the future if the technology continues to improve and society grows comfortable with child-focused autonomous travel. Mobi wasn't shown alone. Toyota also introduced Chibibo, a spider-like robot for toddlers and families. When displayed together, these creations show that the company's vision of mobility extends far beyond cars for adults, reaching into early childhood and daily family life. The idea is to push mobility forward by giving kids tools that support independence, safety, and learning. For many years, manufacturers focused mainly on strollers, bikes, and safety seats, but now the conversation moves toward autonomous, intelligent devices designed directly for children, making mobility a natural part of growing up. Many people wonder how Mobi might be used once it becomes a real product, even though Toyota has not announced official plans yet. Possible uses could include safe school commutes, short playdate trips, or travel within gated neighborhoods where routes stay predictable and protected. There is also interest in how Mobi might help families with busy schedules or support kids with certain mobility challenges. Even though these ideas are only possibilities, they show how Mobi opens new ways of thinking about children's transportation. A quick question for viewers. What trip would help your family the most if a kid-friendly self-driving pod became common? Electric vehicles already help reduce pollution, but Mobi takes this clean technology and brings it to a group that rarely gets its own EV solutions, children. The pod is fully electric, quiet, and energy efficient, designed for short trips that fit everyday routines without adding noise or emissions. Mobi blends EV power, autonomous driving, and child-focused design to give kids safe independence. Though challenges like updated laws, reliable monitoring, and flawless AI still need solutions before it becomes part of daily life. It has the potential to build confidence in young riders, reduce stress for families, and reshape how communities support children's mobility. With its friendly look, smart systems, and cozy interior, Toyota's self-driving EV for kids offers a bold preview of how the next generation may travel safely and confidently. Even though Mobi is still a prototype, it gives an exciting glimpse of a world where children have safe, independent ways to explore. The concept blends fun, safety, and innovation in a way rarely seen in kid-focused technology. Feel free to share thoughts about this unique vehicle in the comments. Would Mobi help families, or does it feel too futuristic? Everyone's opinion matters in shaping the future of mobility. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.